Welcome back to Free Play. This is actually the last episode of the showcase of Dirty Bomb. First, don't so, let them destroy the track switch. We then stop them F3. from blowing the blocker carriage. I'm going to play a match. If it gets to the ten and minute then mark, then the binary detonators to the chopper. Once we hit after the ten minute mark, I'm gonna go back out and go through the store and stuff and such. Defend the bloody track switch. Oh, mine! Reloading! Diffuse it. More ammo here. Oh. He's harming the C4. <laughs> Three. Two. One. Right there. Oh. We lost the track switch. Fall back and defend the rocket carriage. Reloading. Out. Really mines. on the blocker carriage. Diffuse it. Okay. 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 I got this. I got this. No!
They planted on the block of carriage. Defuse it. I'm disarming C4. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. What's that guy say? You want objective thing? It's not gonna matter. But the way they've got that defended. They destroyed the carriage. Stop them from getting the detonators to the chopper. First detonator delivered. Don't let them deliver the second one. They have the second detonator. Stop them. Ammo. Ammo station here. Oh no, I killed myself! Get it. Good game, guys. They delivered a detonator. Jack will have our detonators, which is nice. Damn. Okay. I'm gonna back out of the server. And we're gonna just talk about the game. Is this way to have some footage to excite people and then back out? <laughs> Get some experience, some gold. 
And we're going back to main menu. I'm going to open up the, the crate that we got. So... Barracks. Items. I'm going to open up this one. Open. What shall we get? I'm going to hit skip the moment we can. Tremendous. Okay. Uh, let's filter it out. So we have this one, which makes enemy deployers much more visible. We are going to recycle this one. I think reload speed is better. Ah, that's how you do it. And recycle load out. And back to Barrett, and then home. Okay, so let's talk about the in game currency. Ranked points. You don't have any ranked points. You can spend an exclusive ranked content. Okay, let's look at this. So there's ranked points, which is season based stuff. Okay, that's good to know. And then there's cash money. So there's really no paid currency it's real life money is your currency for some stuff so there's boosters and such and then there's obsidian grade stuff so if we go look at deals okay yeah i get it so there's dlcs which real life money but then you have shell shock stuff which is all real life money except for these the bundles which I think are expensive. I don't even know what hex ads do. But, so this is the least thing. So it's pretty much $5. It's the cheapest thing I've seen so far. So you got $5 here. Oh no, there's $3 there for that. Bundles. So if we click the deployable bundles, it's $15. Uh, Mercs. So in-game currency-wise, they are like 50,000 is I think their most expensive, and cheapest is 30,000. And I haven't seen anything that is more expensive than 50,000 at least. So yeah, it's either 50,000, $10, or $6 essentially uh, for stuff. Turtle is the new one, yeah. So, 50,000 is pretty much the bulk of things. Um, cases. They are slightly expensive. So, as you can see, the basic normal equipment cases are bundles. Thing, and then you have these, which are cash ones. So, these are $3 and up, or $2.50 and up. Then, loadouts. So, if we go, you can buy... Bro it seems like you can't buy decent ones. Uh, crafting. Uh, crafting kits can be used instead of credits to cra Okay, so you can craft silver or higher loadouts. Okay, I get you. Then you have boosters, which are below a dollar and up. Which I think overall is fine because... Graffiti. So these boosters are three hour boosters, which is the amount of gold you earn. So the amount of credits you earn. It's not the amount of experience, it's the amount of credits. And they are only... And I've unlocked some for myself. So I've actually gotten some, which is actually fantastic. Um, which I've actually got act active. And it only counts down when you're actively playing. So when you're in a match, you it counts down. When you're outside of a match, it doesn't count down. So that means they last for a hell of a lot longer. And you're actually earning while you're playing. Which is fantastic. So, let's see. If I go loadouts... We hit craft. Let's select this guy. So we only have 60, so like you can go up to cobalt, which is 20,000 of those things, which is expensive. So I think once you buy um, all of the heroes, all the heroes that you want, and you don't care about anything else, and you find your rotation that you like, then you might just spend all your credits on opening up cases, which then you scrap for stuff so you can craft stuff and have a chance. And you earn crates as you play, 
So depending on your performance, you might get it certain types of crates. Now crates are locked via level, like this one I cannot open until level 7, I believe. Yep. And we cannot play ranked until we are level 7. So we're not quite there yet. So overall, the game is actually really, really fun. I don't know what that is. Go to store. What currency is that? Oh, that's the shell shock stuff. Oh, I get it now. You know what? Hmm. So you can get a drop rate booster. Don't want that. No. So if that's... Let's get this one. You know what? We're going to purchase it. Price is dropped a bit, so... By proceeding, you're, inf you're influencing Turtle to pick up the design below for Proxy's Eye. Yeah, okay. Though that one's cool. Is that the trifold? Oh. And what's this one? I want to see what the eye is. And that's just that, no, nah, green. Hmm. You know what, this one. We're gonna go with this one, because it looks, looks cool. So, special edition card, okay. So we're gonna open this. And I think this will be the last thing I do. The game is extremely fun. Overall, I, I'm enjoying it. Servers could be better, but that's because I'm playing at weird times. Makes and me happy. So we got Phoenix. He gets get up, increases health on revive. Okay, that's that's fine. So I guess you earn these. Uh, hexoids are used to purchase content only available during the Shellshock event. Uh, you're rewarded by playing matches. Bundles can also be bought on Shellshock store. Um. Uh, the cases, which has exclusive stuff in it, supply and demand when purchasing a particular shell shock equipment in case you're increasing the demand for it, which in turn will influence, influence their prices. Make sure to keep your eye on the prices as they fluctuate daily. Drop boosters. During the shell shock, there's a one percent chance for an equipment case dropping after a match will instead be a shell shock. Uh, increases chance by drop boosters, which can stack up to 100%. Okay. Cyber Eye event. Cyber Eye case can be purchased with Hexwords and contains a random one of nine possible loadout cards for Proxy. The designs will be based on Shell Shock equipment case with the highest market value. Okay, so they're locked, but they're not locked. Okay, that's a little thing that's going on. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you're enjoying the free play showcases that I've been doing. Uh, if you leave a comment down below with suggestions for the next free to play game, be it on Steam or externally, uh, I'll add it to a list. And when I don't have any ideas of the next one I want to play, I'll choose one of them. Or if they actually interest me to a point, I'll actually do it. So the next game that we're going to be showcasing is called Gigantic. It recently came out five days ago and I'll be doing the recording starting tomorrow. So for me, that's the 26th. Um, so it'll only be six days old. It's already hit on the front page, like the first page of when you search for free-to-play games and the most relevant top searches. So I, people are playing it. It's got good reviews. It is a MOBA, but apparently they've changed it. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.